Good morning everyone and welcome to day 40. We are here still in Iowa, believe it or not, and we are at the Surf Ballroom and Museum. So what this place is, is the, it's really famous for like the, the history and culture that it has. Um, but if you know Buddy Holly, this is one of the last, this was the last place that he performed. Uh, but it was also, uh, he pretty much brought life to this place in the beginning. Um, but it's like a cool, just like, history, culture, introduction to like, that time. Look at all these, look at this phone. Like what? That's what a phone used to be, not your cell phone. Look at all the guitars. The problem is it's really poorly lit in here. And there's like nobody around to like ask questions. Maybe it's over here. All right, and then this is the ballroom. This is where all the dancing happens. This is where all the fun. This is so interesting. Look at that. That's so cool though, like the booths right next to the ballroom floor. The bar over there. This used to be the place to hang out. That's kind of crazy. That's kind of cool. Now we can go behind stage, backstage, prep room. Got a lot of people sign this. Whoa. Visitors, please refrain from signing our walls. This area is historic. Yeah. Up on stage. I'm on stage, yo. <gasps> what I'm more excited about is just 10 miles north is the Buddy Holly crash site, which is an unfortunate occurrence, but they have these giant pair of glasses as like in honor of him, which is kind of like weird. I don't understand why glasses, but that is so cool. All right, so we've now come down the road uh, about a couple towns, you know, what, 20 miles maybe, uh, to the National Hobo Museum. This, this city, they just had their 117th annual hobo celebration. It is ridiculous how big the hobo community um, initiative here is. It's a long story dating back to Chicago 117 years ago, but um, this is really cool. Check this out. I feel like this is me right here. This describes me. So there's hobo, tramp, and bum. Hobo is travel plus work. That's what I do right now. There's tramp, travel, no work. Sometimes that's me. And then a bum. No travel, no oh plus work. But what's really cool about this place is it's an old theater turned into a museum. So like this is legit like a theater. They didn't change anything. They left all the walls up. Look at that. Pink. Pink. Uh. I don't know, it's not wood, it's not drywall, it's like a wood, it's like not even wood, I don't know what it is, but this is really cool. Look at that. Kind lady lives here. Good place to hang out. Free 
phone. It's a chicken for a free phone. What? There are thieves here. The sky's the limit. And after reading this, I learned that people who work for the railroad, rail workers, they they were actually nice to hobos. They supported them, which I was surprised to learn. And then what's cool is down in the neighborhood, uh, in the town of Brit, just down the road, they have a cemetery, but then they also have a national hobo memorial. This is a cemetery for just the hobos. You can see all of their markers there. All right, so we are now on our way to Winnebago Industries for a tour of their camper making facility, but look at this, I found the side of the road, a mega bull. It was really random, so I felt like I had to stop and get a picture with it. <laughs> that is so weird. Oh, I love people out here. Alrighty, we are here. Check this out. This, so, before you do the tour, you can go walk around their little museum. You can actually go in one of their old ones. Oh, look how simple the dash is. There's literally nothing on the dash. <laughs> Interesting countertop. Hey, look, there's the bed up top. We got a f ice box, I think is what they would call it back then. I have a feeling your shower. Oh, yeah, bathroom. It looks hard to see. Oh, man, literally, the shower, the shower is like literally right here, and the bathroom's right there. It's hard to see. Oh, in the back, a nice big bed. That is so cool. There's this fifth wheel you can check out. This is like an old thing, 900 bucks back in the day. I mean, it's pretty small, but it works. It's got a table. The table, I feel like, is extra big. You don't need that big. Stove, sink, bed, hard to see. It's kind of short. Closet. There's no shower or anything, but you don't need that. You can find other places to shower. All right, so unfortunately, I couldn't show you any of the tour. It's all like proprietary stuff, no photos, no videos. But let me tell you, that was. I don't want to compare, but like I think that was almost better than John Deere. Like that was an awesome tour. It's free. It's crazy how it's free. That's the coolest thing to do. Definitely recommend going and checking this place out. It is awesome. Winnebago Factory Tours, uh, Northern Iowa, just just south of uh, the border of Minnesota. Uh, but now we are up in Minnesota. We are in Austin, Minnesota. Which, by the way, guys. When it comes to naming people, we can be very original, but when it comes to naming places, we're not original. Like, I, you know, there's so many Austins in all of the United States, it's ridiculous. Um, but here we're now in Austin, Minnesota, at none other than the Spam Museum. Yes, Spam as in, like, the food, the military food, the thing that, like, yeah, Spam Museum. Check this out. It is a super interactive museum with all kinds of fun facts about Spam, like how Spam is made, like... What they do with different, like, how people in different parts of the world enjoy spam. Like, it's ridiculous, this place. <laughs> Hawaii! Military use, to talk about the military use. Some memorabilia. Giant wall of spam. Oh man, <laughs> that rhymes. Tiny house. Tiny. Oh yeah, this place is going around, and that was the schedule. It's over now, but oh yeah, I got spam going across the ceiling. Like, what is going on? There's so many different kinds. Oh man, I had no idea. Teriyaki, less sodium. Sausage, hot and spicy, garlic, black pepper, light, chorizo, cheese. I had no idea. Okay, so the people who make Spam, they make all these things too. Look, they make Skippy, Muscle Milk. Like these are the ones I recognize. Applegate. That's crazy. Look at that. You can follow Spam on Twitter. You can buy Spam at the convenience stores in Hawaii. You can get some recipes here. You can actually send them to yourself via email from here. Tree decorations. What? Wow, 
like pepper. And believe it or not, people in the U.S. consume 186 cans of Spam every minute. That I would not have known. And right across the street is Sweet Reads, and they have the largest collection of the Berenstein Bears, which I... The books were cool, but I saw all these. These were cool. Look at these. Look at all the peoples. Look at that. And then stuffed animals. I love stuffed animals the best. And the games. The shirts. And the, and the juice. Hello. Juice cups. <laughs> Oh yeah, one of the whole like, kaleidoscope thing. It's the only one people. Oh yeah, know. game board games. I don't even know they had board games. Oh. They have video games. They had Game Boy games. Yeah, it's crazy. And then look at Braille books. Oh Braille, that's cool. That's cool. Books DVDs. Man, they have so much VHS, cassette tape. And the old books. Oh yeah, old books. That was before me. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, so to end the day, we are here in Minnesota. We are at the Mall of America. First of all, I know from last year that they don't really like you filming in here, but because I had like a mall cop walk up to me, ask me what I was doing, that kind of thing. So uh, let's uh, go explore. So to give you a little bit of an idea of how big it is here, let's tap the directory, see what it works. This is. I believe three, it closed at 9.30, which is kind of crazy. Three floors of amazingness. Tons of shops that doesn't even show me a map. I wanted a map, but it's three floors. Look at this. It's like super white. I, you feel like you're in like a Star Wars movie, like uh, Attack of the Clones and like they're on that planet with those big tall people who are making the drone. Um, yeah, the drones. This, this is just ridiculous. I mean, just look at how white it is in here. It's crazy. And then in the middle of the mall, of course, is the amusement park. Man, they got Candyland. It's sugar. That's for me. Look at this. In the middle of the mall. Ridiculous. A roller coaster. A Ferris wheel. Another roller coaster. Oh my goodness. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, there goes the roller coaster. You got an arcade, you got American Girl, which looks like you can just chill at the top, there's like a cafe, which is pretty cool. They got Wi-Fi, of course, just like Ikea, they have Wi-Fi too. You had to like sign in at Ikea, here you just use it. A Nickelodeon store, like what up? A carousel. Dora the Explorer. Spongebob. Hey, Diego, what's up? Like, this is where you come if you want to lose all your money in one fell swoop on buying stuff, doing rides, buying food that's ridiculously expensive. If you want to do it all and waste all your money, this is where you come. Or you come with no money and just walk around, like I do. And then one of the best parts is Lego. You can play with all the Legos. They have amazing Lego figurines. Look at those things. There's like a tiger. There's like a transformer. It's not an actual transformer. Pirates. There's a helicopter with a guy hanging off of it. Like that's awesome. And this is one of my other favorite things. I saw this last year in my other video, but you see the evolution of the Lego like logo. Let me back up. Like, you wouldn't have expected, like, look, that was what it was before, in 1934. Look how it changed. It wasn't until, like, a long ways down, lots of iterations, that it looks at all what it looks like today. I mean, it's been for a long time it's looking like that, but... Like, it took a long time for it to... A lot of changes before it actually became anything like what we have today. And they have Legos for, like, every age. Like, these are for, of course, the higher age. But look... I don't even know what that is. Oh, the mountain cave. Oh, that must be Minecraft or something. Yeah, Minecraft. London. The Death Star. Carousel for your grandma. Disney. Ferris wheel. And that. I used to have the smaller version of that, but they have a new one that came out. Always new things. Look at that. All the floors. So many. And they have what I believe is one of the last few Disney stores around. Because we used to have one in our mall, but it closed down a long time ago. I mean, look at that. They have a Nestle store up there. 
That's pretty cool. And I was told there's like a bar, go-karting, like all kinds of fun stuff upstairs. Look, there's a Hooters. Um, but this used to be a stadium. This used to be their baseball stadium. And that's why it's in a giant oval. And that's why you have the amusement park in the middle and everything's built around it in like a circle. That explains it all now. Now I understand. So up here is all the bars. You got Hooters. This is where you can do go-karting. Like look at that, in the dark, you can go-kart. Even, this is one of the few places that you can drink and drive. And then that's what happens when the mall closes. The whole music park's like in the dark. Woo! Alrighty, that will be it for today, guys. I am here in the Twin Cities for another day until I pick up my brother on Thursday. Uh, and we're gonna road trip together. First ever road trip partner, I'm super excited about that. So. Uh, I'll be doing that for 10 days with him, and I'll still be making videos probably. Uh, so you'll be able to check all those out. We're going to go do some fun stuff, some tours, stuff like that. Uh, visit Chicago, St. Paul, see the solar eclipse, uh, stuff like that. So um, if you guys enjoyed any of this, please do hit the subscribe button so you don't miss an upload. Uh, share with somebody you know, uh, somebody who might want to travel, or I mean, even if you don't share this video, share the Young Travelers Movement Facebook page with them. Uh, if they want tips and tricks for traveling, or if you want them as well, go check that out. Uh, because my goal is to help inspire and empower as many people to travel as possible to learn about the world around them and to learn more about themselves, find out what they want to do with their lives and that kind of thing. So, hit the subscribe button, share with someone you know, and I'll catch you on the next video. But until then, have a... Hey, bonus for all of you who stuck around, look at that. This must have been one of the first McDonald's because those arches like that are a sign of the original arches. That's cool.